uh, archival material from the British and the French uh, foreign ministries. The, the work of the legal advisors I've explored over about a hundred years. And uh, they have repeatedly considered the question of the Nansha and the Shisha Islands. They are applying the Western standards of international law. And they come to the conclusion uh, that uh, China uh, is the uh, owner of these islands. There are pretty categorical statements by both the British and the French, and even the Americans, that the Filipinos have no claim whatsoever to any territory, shoals, reefs, or whatever, in the South China Sea. The British also, in their memorandum of 1974, a formal memorandum of the legal department, they reached the conclusion that the Spratleys were uh, Chinese and no longer French and had never been Filipino. The arbitration supports the Philippines. It says that the islands are not entitled to any maritime zone and that therefore the Philippines are entitled to claim a 200 mile economic zone extended from the uh, western coast of the Philippines right into the middle of the South China Sea, excluding China completely. And then Vietnam would come from the other side of the South China Sea, moving eastward and then they would cut China off uh, in the very north of the South China Sea. And uh, that's a, a useful uh, argument for the United States. And of course, with these countries being completely dependent on the United States for maritime uh, military support, that basically means that it's the United States that will control two-thirds of the South China Sea.